Welcome to Plymouth, a fascinating coastal city with a lot of history. This travel guide will show you all the best views and sights in this historic city in the southwest of England. Plymouth has a population of around 260,000 people and a history dating back to the Bronze Age, but it is most famous for being a maritime city. The home port to many famous sailor explorers such as Drake and Raleigh, and also the starting point of the Pilgrim Fathers, who sailed from here on the Mayflower to America in 1620 to establish one of the first colonies of what would later become the USA. With its many important military sites, the city was severely bombed in World War II destroying much of its historic architecture, leaving the city centre with many modern buildings. The city is home to Western Europe's largest operational naval base, as well as commercial shipbuilding and a ferry port with regular car ferry services to France. So stick around to see the best sights of the city of Plymouth. The best place to start is on the Hoe. This stretch of wonderful coast and promenade is a few minutes walk from the city centre and has epic views over Plymouth Sound, where you can watch ships and ferries come and go, and if you're lucky you might even see a military vessel. The most famous site on the Hoe is Smeaton's Tower, a lighthouse memorial to civil engineer John Smeaton. The top parts were taken from an 18th century lighthouse that was originally located offshore. The Hoe is also home to many memorials including to sailors like Sir Francis Drake, as well as to war memorials, such as the Plymouth Naval Memorial seen here, a monumental obelisk commemorating British and Commonwealth naval casualties from the World Wars. The Tinside Lido is an Art Deco outdoor swimming pool jutting out into the sea. It was built in 1935 and is open to the public for swimming in the summer. The rocky shoreline, with its views over Plymouth Sound, is worth spending a few hours exploring. With its small rocky beaches and many sea swimming areas for those that dare the cold waters. Citadel is a historic military fort overlooking the sea. Still in use today, it can only be visited as part of a pre-book guided tour, but the impressive exterior can be walked around to see its mighty walls and historic gatehouse. Plymouth is especially significant for American citizens, as it was from this city that the Mayflower set sail in 1620 to establish one of the first colonies in North America. The location is marked with a memorial arch as well as British and American flags, there is also a dedicated museum. The Barbican is Plymouth's historic harbour area, and also one of the nightlife hotspots of the city. With its cobbled streets and numerous bars and restaurants, it's a fun place to look around. There is also the Plymouth Gin Distillery, home to the famous gin maker that can be toured or visited for drinks. The Barbican is located on the side of Sutton Harbour, this historic marina is full of boats and makes for a very pleasant walking location. The National Marine Aquarium is on the other side of Sutton Harbour. Home to over 4,000 animals, it is the largest of its kind in Britain and was opened in 1998. Plymouth City Centre was heavily bombed in World War II and was rebuilt in a mostly modern style. Some parts still remain such as the ruin of Charles Church, which is adjacent to a large modern shopping mall. Other notable sites in the city centre include the Minster Church of St Andrew, Plymouth Guildhall and HMS Ark Royal Anchor. The Royal William Victualling Yard was once a major depot for the Royal Navy. It was built between 1826 and 1835 and named after King William IV. The yard was released by the Navy in 1992 and has since been redeveloped as a mixed-use site with housing and restaurants. The impressive historic buildings 
dock sides and cranes have been preserved, making it one of the most impressive industrial monuments in England. Just around the corner from the yard is Devil's Point. This rocky stretch of coastline with its small beaches and swimming areas offers fantastic views over Plymouth Sound and Drake's Island. It's a really, really awesome place to walk and explore. So that's it for my best places in Plymouth to visit. What did you think? Did I miss something vital? If so, let me know in the comments below. All footage and time lapse in this video were recorded and created by me. And this, of course, takes a lot of time and effort. So if you made it this far, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up, comment, or better still, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in another video.